Hey guys, it's Celine Karate here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to talk about something a little bit more real. I wanted to share with you guys what life is like as a grieving mother. Maybe this will help other people in the world that have friends or family that are going through this. God forsake yourself. But I'm hoping that this video will help people not only understand other grieving mothers, but also help you maybe understand myself and what it's like on a daily basis. Today I'm going to be sharing what life has been like since Mason left me on March 22nd, 2019. Number one, I cry every single day. It's exhausting, but I have to do it. I don't always choose when it happens. I'm not trying to say that there isn't good in life, okay? I'm not saying every moment of my life is absolute despair. But yes, every day I break down. I actually whisper, scream, I miss you, Mason. I miss you, Mason. I'm so sorry. Most of the time when I have these horrible breakdowns, begging out to God that maybe one day I'll see him again. I don't know if that's how life really works. I'm very open to what the universe is and what it means. I wish I was absolutely sure of what was going to happen at the end. I really do. Is that me lacking faith? It's not that I lack faith. I think it's silly for humans to think that we know everything when we don't. We don't know shit. When I cry in this room here, I find if I hold on to something, it has to ground me. I have to remember that I am in this reality, I am here. But when I'm in that moment, I am so lost. All these flashbacks of my son and me and the happiness we had, even the hard times. Something I am gonna say about these big breakdowns that happened, I really did learn to be in that emotion, to truly just let it be. Don't fight it because it's going to erupt anyway. Obviously there are times like at work where I try to shut it down and sometimes it gets the best of me. If you have the chance to let it free, let it free. Fucking scream, cry, fucking air punch. You do whatever you have to do to survive. To be honest with you, it makes me feel like I'm a crazy person. Am I a crazy person? Number two, I was kind of out of society in a normal sense for almost two years. I was on mat leave for one year, so I wasn't working, I was at home with a baby every day. Then I only went back to work for about a month and a half, and then Mason passed away. I was off for another five months because I was, I was not okay. I was just so not fucking okay. Not only did I have to get used to the idea of my son not being in my life anymore, not being able to love him like that anymore, I had to kind of relearn to go back into society. <laughs> Crazy. I literally had to start all over from like the fucking beginning. One thing with going back to work or even just having conversations with anyone, being a grieving mother, I don't hear a lot of things. My mind just literally drifts to thinking about Mason or a trigger will happen. It's like a war flashback. PTSD is so real. I am so sorry to anyone that has any form of fucking PTSD. It hits you like that. Triggers are a real thing. And it happens every day, guys. I'm a real person that really tries to live in the moment. <laughs> it's going to be gone like that. But for me, I'm stuck in the past. I don't want to be, but I am. Some of my triggers are babies crying. Yeah, that one gets me. The snow falling reminds me when, when I went into the hospital to give birth. I have a coworker with the same name as my son. The first time I worked with him and I needed his attention, I wasn't even thinking and I yelled out, Mason, oh man, <laughs> like, I guess I hadn't like called his name like that. Coming back into the real world, having to work again, pay my own rent, all the same life struggles we all have, and then also grieving my son. I am starting to remember some good parts too though. I am me, deep down, I'm still me. 
my goal is just stronger more than ever to help people with their suffering and to be open about emotions because they're real. Emotions can trap you if you don't talk about them or release them. It literally will consume you. Such a good support system. I've got family and friends that check in. But in this journey of losing Mason, I am alone. I'm aware of that. I know people care and they want to help, but I know this and I think everyone else knows too. This is my journey I have to figure out. Only I can really truly understand what the love was I had with my son. But I will say this, the compassion from other mothers, overwhelmingly beautiful. It really, really is. I can literally feel, feel that connection of your compassion for me because you put yourself in my shoes. I hope you never have to ever go through this because the person you love most in the world is your children.